guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. I'm so happy that you came by today. Today I'm going to be making some chalk paint from scratch. Yes, I'm going to make my own chalk paint. So if you're interested in seeing how I make some homemade chalk paint, then stick around. Okay guys, I'm making some homemade chalk paint from scratch. Uh, let me just say, one of my, one of my viewers uh, left me a comment that uh, asking me if I've ever used calcium carbonate. I'd never even heard of it. If I, if I knew about it, I must have forgotten about it. But anyway, I was interested because she knows that I uh, use chalk paint a lot, but I usually buy chalk paint by Bayer and Valspar and Rust-Oleum and, and um, Waverly, those kinds of things. And if you've seen any of my videos, or if you haven't seen any of my videos, I'll leave a few links of, of some chalk paint videos where uh, I did some demos. Um, but she asked if I used any calcium carbonate to make my own chalk paint. And I said, no, but I try it. So here I am, I'm gonna try it today. I'm gonna try to make my own chalk paint using calcium carbonate and some sample paint. So what you'll need for this little experiment is calcium carbonate, which I bought from Amazon, and I think this was $7.99. Some sample paints, I have a few. This one was already at the house from another project. It's a, a pink color. Um, Hubby went out and bought this for me. This is a Rust-Oleum, and this is a Hunter Green. And this is, Hubby bought this one for me too at Lowe's, it's a Valspar sample paint. Now this was $3.98. I think I'm gonna use this one because it's so pretty. It's lilac, it's so pretty, that I think I'm gonna be using this. Okay, so what you'll need is your calcium carbonate, you'll need some paint, regular paint, and water. And that's it, that's it. I can't believe it, but. I saw a couple of uh, videos online and it's as simple as that. So let's get started. We're gonna need two tablespoons of calcium carbonate for eight ounces of paint, and then one tablespoon of water. So I'll put that um, somewhere in this, somewhere here in the video, I'll put that in there. And I'm gonna be using these containers that uh, left over from takeout. I'm gonna use this to store my paint. So no cost, right? I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Okay, let me um, let me put something down because I'm in my kitchen and I don't want to make a mess. So hang on. So I'm starting with Valspar latex paint. This is a little sample of lilac, and it's a real pretty soft purple, I guess lavender color, and it's really really soft pastel. So I'm going to start with that, and we paid $3.98 for that. This mix calls for two tablespoons of calcium carbonate. And this calcium carbonate I bought online from Amazon. So two tablespoons of calcium carbonate to eight ounces of latex paint. And one tablespoon of, of warm water. Okay, now add the uh, warm water and then give it a stir and let's mix this up really good. So to the um, calcium carbonate and water, I'm going to now add my latex paint. And the great thing about making your own uh, chalk paint is you can use or make any color you want. Like prior to this, I was using Rustoleum and Valspar and Bayer, but using 
uh, when you buy the, those colors, you, you just usually just get uh, white or off-white or something like that. I can make homemade chalk paint with any color now. So this is a game changer and it's less expensive. So let's give this a nice mix. So look at the consistency, really thick consistency. This is how I like my chalk paint. All right, so I'm going to use this um, little piece of wood to show you what one coat of paint looks like on this block of wood. I'm getting great coverage too. Look at that. That's one coat of, um, of paint. So next I'm going to try it on this jar. This is a recycled jar that um, it was a spaghetti sauce jar that I cleaned up. Just took the label off and um, just seeing how it works on glass. And I'm getting great coverage. Look at this. It's going on and I'm getting such great coverage with this homemade chalk paint. Look at that. I will end up using uh, two coats though. I probably could have done one coat and distressed it a little bit, but I'm gonna go two coats with this. But I got great coverage with this. I am so happy I did this. I, again, will leave the information to one of the videos that I saw where I got this recipe. But you really need to try it. If you're into chalk paint and what have you, you really need to try this. Uh, calcium carbonate with any kind of latex paint and you get such a nice thick consistency. I'm going to try it with another color and I'll probably do another video with that so you can see how it works with another color but this is great. I'm loving it. So this is the second coat of paint on this jar and I had a fan running so I could help it dry a little quicker so I could decorate it. So let me show you what the finished product looks like of this homemade chalk paint with calcium carbonate. I hope this was helpful. Thanks guys. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one.